Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. In 2023, I am doing a no buy year. So my last video before this one, I think will have been my January and February no buy check-in. But alongside my no buy year, I am also doing a budgeting project this year. So I will link up in the eye, I'll have a playlist with the introduction to budgeting and last month's check-in, my January check-in. Today we are doing my February check-in. So if you are caught up with the context of that from that playlist, Let's get on into what I spent in February. In my first budget category, which is beauty services, I spent a total of £115. That was £80 getting my hair done and £35 getting my nails done. I didn't spend anything at all on beauty service replacement items. On beauty replacements, I spent £15.99. I purchased the Olaplex dry shampoo. Now this is an RRP of £28. But I had £15 of Space NK credit expiring so I decided to purchase this with it because I have just about finished my Aveda dry shampoo so I knew I was going to be having to replace that in the next month or so so it kind of made the most sense to use that credit before it expired to get this which is something I will need in the very near future. I actually thought I had pretty much had my last use of that and then it did that thing where it seems to have kind of come back to life a little bit so I've not used this yet but I'm sure I'll be on to it by the end of this month so I'm not too worried about the fact that I bought it a little bit early. I would rather do that than have lost the Space NK credit so this only actually cost me £13 and I spent £2.99 replacing my travel size micellar water. So I do have a full size of this but the travel size is actually really good. It's a really really secure cap so it feels a bit safer to actually travel with. So I purchased that because I was away, I was away in Dublin for an overnight and then I was away to Edinburgh for a couple of nights at the end of the month so I replaced that within my stash. Then on socialising I spent £73.99. I spent £18.99 one day, I think that was like going for lunch and then having a quick coffee afterwards and then I spent £55 another day which was on a sort of set menu thing that my friend and I had for Valentine's Day. It probably ended up being more than I'd sort of intended to spend that day but it was what it was, I've written it down. Then on to work lunches, huge improvement on this versus my January work lunches. So I spent £18.20 and I only bought lunch at work two days, so very pleased with that. Now I did say in my last video that I knew February was going to be way over budget and it was. So in experiences I spent £198.17. Now that is paying for my hotel for the night in Dublin and then for the money that I spent in Dublin basically. Absolutely I had the best weekend, I loved it. I know I'm over my budget but do you know what it was? It was so great, it was It was just, I love Dublin so very much. I went with my friend Lindsay, it was her first time, I feel like she really enjoyed it too. We just had a great time, it was, it was worth every penny, I definitely want to do it again, obviously where I've kind of struggled here is that this is the very start of the year for my budget so I know if I was doing it again I would need to plan a bit in advance and save some budget back in advance rather than spending it and now having to claw it back which is what I'm going to need to do over the next two months but it was such a good weekend I really really enjoyed it so um, I did take some vlog footage, whether it's going to be a usable vlog or not I don't quite know but I'll have an edit of that so do keep an eye out, there might be a vlog coming. Um, and then the last thing that I actually spent money on was in books and entertainment. I spent 98 pence and what that was was I bought a book that was 8 99 and then I also bought a bookmark that was 1 99 so it was 10 98 altogether but I had £10 of Waterstones credit so I only actually paid 98 pence all in and then I didn't spend anything at all in homewares and stationery. So I opened the month of February with £253.02, I spent £422.33 which means I was £169.31 over my budget. I said in January like I knew this was going to happen this month, I was mentally prepared for it and what I need to absolutely not do here is have a breakdown about it and get completely scunnered and throw the whole project out the window. So in March, if I take the full amount off of my March budget, then in theory I am opening March with a budget of £80.69. Now, I don't think I'm going to get through March on £80.69. Apart from anything else, in February I spent £115.69. 
and that was getting my hair and my nails done, which I'm getting done in March. I'm also probably going to spend a little bit more on my nails in March because I'm going on holiday, so I'm probably, I just got plain nails, um, which are the cheapest nails, so these are £35 to get them plain. You pay for nail art depending on the level of detail, so I'm probably going to get some nail art when I get my nails done in March. So I know I'm probably going to be slightly over that 115 in that category. However, I think the way it's working out in March, I am... This weekend I'm staying home because I'm filming both days. I'm wanting to try and get a video up every Wednesday and Sunday in March. So I'm filming two videos today and two videos tomorrow to facilitate that. So I'm not out basically this weekend. Next weekend I'm getting my hair done in the morning and then Lauren and I are going to go into town so I'll probably spend a little bit of money on socialising there because we'll eat out but we are going on holiday like a week after that so neither of us will be wanting anything really fancy. We'll probably go to like Subway or um, you know, sort of food court kind of place and um, we might get a coffee or whatever so I don't think that'll be a lot of money but that's probably the only socialising that I think I'll do because We'll do that that weekend. The next weekend I'll need to pack and then the weekend after that we'll be on holiday. So I don't think I'll be spending any money really on socialising. Work lunches I need to just keep under control. I've not spent anything so far this month so long may that continue. Experiences, again I don't really foresee me spending any money on experiences this month. I am away at the end of the month and um, I'm busy as I said the other weekends so I don't think experiences is going to be anything to note. Books and entertainment, I might buy another book, we'll see, but if I do it'll be like one book and then in terms of homewares I've got no immediate plans so I am hoping that I can actually possibly get through March on about £150 which would give me £100 back of that £169 that I was over in February. So then in April if I can pull back by £70 in theory we should be on balance for the end of April so that is the plan. That's how we're approaching it. The only thing, and I said this at the end of my last check-in, is that like when I get my hair done, I've gone to a new hairdresser, so it's a lot less than I used to be spending on my hair, but that's still like over a hundred pounds between my hair and nails each month. Now, I've said this before, but I've got really, really weak nails. So I get um, something called Builder in a Bottle, and I have Googled and looked elsewhere, and I can't really get that any cheaper than I'm getting it. Um, I've also been going to the girl who does my nails since 2019, since the very start of 2019 actually. So like, I feel like we've got a good relationship. You know, I don't really want to stop that because if I don't get the builder in a bottle, my nails are, they're so rubbish, they just break. I do feel it makes, uh, it's like a subtle difference, but I feel like it really makes me feel more polished and more together when I have my nails done and they're not all broken and chipped. And I think as well, like in a sense, your nails are one of the sort of few things that you actually see of yourself. Like I like playing with makeup and whatever, but once I'm away from the mirror and my face is on, you know, if I'm not filming like I am just now with a flip out camera to make sure I know that I'm in frame, like I'm not looking at myself all day every day. Like I don't know what I look like, but I see my nails, you know, I'm typing, I'm on the computer at work or I'm just, you know, going about my day, like, I will see my nails so I feel like having my nails done is one of the few sort of beauty things that you spend money on that you actually see yourself and take pleasure from so I do really like having my nails done so that's not something I want to stop but as I said in the last update, I have been getting plain nails recently just so that I'm not paying for nail art to try and keep the cost down a little bit with that but the way it's kind of working out with my hair is that I am getting my hair done sort of three months in a row. So I got my hair done in February, then I'm getting my hair done next weekend so that it's done for me going on holiday. I would have preferred to get it done the week after I'm getting it done, but she didn't have any availability. And then I will probably, I've got a conference with work at the end of April, and I know I'm going to want my hair done before I go to that conference. So I think it's going to be May before I get a month where I'm not actually paying to get my hair done. And that's, it is, Although it's so much less than it was at my old hairdresser, it's still a huge chunk of my budget away every single month that I get my hair done. So I'm, I'm not going to lie, there's definitely part of me that's tempted to get a home dye and just do my hair for going to the conference myself. But I went down this route before trying to save money with home dyeing. My hair ended up not in a good way. I had to get loads and loads of it chopped off. There is part of me that's like, yeah, but just a one-off, like just, just to break up that three months a little bit and put it off again and 
whatever like one time won't hurt there's definitely part of me that's kind of thinking like that but the other part of me is like look we're, we're trying to be on a journey back to healthy here here so don't break it up so that's what I am with that I am a little bit I'm aware in terms of clawing this money back that I spent in Dublin like if I wasn't getting my hair done either in March or in April that would be a huge chunk of money back from my budget but yeah I think I need to think of it as the health of my hair and the, the overall journey rather than just that month's finance so probably gonna get it done but it's it's definitely playing about in my mind that it would be so much cheaper to do it myself but but what is the cost in the long run if all my hair needs chopped off again so trying to not be seduced by that idea but yeah so that is everything I think to discuss in February obviously I'm well over budget but I knew I was going to be over budget I know why I'm over budget I definitely did when I was in Dublin like I pulled it back a little bit I spent less than I might have spent had I not been tracking my budget so although I'm over I'm over by less than I might have otherwise been I would have definitely spent a lot more in Dublin if I hadn't been tracking this budget at all so I've definitely actually saved a lot of money just through having the budget in place even though we're over it but we're going to stay positive I can definitely call this back not in one month but across the next two months and we're going to be fine so that's where we're leaving it for February thank you very much for watching this video if you are trying to budget or if you're doing like a no buy year or whatever please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already that is what all my content revolves around is this being my no buy year and also trying to budget and become better with money. If you're on that journey alongside me, please give the video a thumbs up. It helps you because YouTube will know what content you like and it will recommend more of it. And it helps me by helping grow my channel and show my videos to more people, which would be very, very nice. So I would really, really appreciate it if you would do that for me because we're all slaves to the algorithm and we all must bow down before it's mighty glory. Thank you very much for watching the video. I am putting up a video every Wednesday and Sunday in month of March, so I will see you on Sunday. Bye.